All right, how's it going, everybody? Uh, today we're going to be starting a new series called House Flipper, and I've done a bunch of the tutorial stuff already, just so we don't have to go through with that. Um, but basically, what I want to be doing today is getting our starter shack uh, all up and pretty, and selling one house. That is going to be the goal for today. And let's see what we can do. Let's get into it. So this is our house. Um, you can see a lot of weeds and just doesn't look very pretty. Paint is very chipped and dirty in places. Uh, you walk inside and there's garbage all over the place. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Now I haven't done anything to the inside of this house yet. Um, all I, I have done so far is I've gone on the emails here and I've done a bunch of these mail. So uh, a lot of those are done. We've kept a few of them there. So if we have a you know shorter day, uh, get some houses done really quick, then we'll be able to get into that a little bit quicker. So I'm basically just gonna sell everything that we have uh, and start fresh. And uh, we'll get back to that in just a minute. I'll be right back. So, we got the grass all mown. And the house is all cleaned off. Nothing else going on here. Everything is looking all pretty good. And then we go inside the house. Everything is nice and clean. Uh, obviously it needs to be painted. But I oops, forgot something here. But I've got rid of everything on the inside. Uh, except for the laptop, which we need. Um... And now we're going to get started. So we're going to do the bathroom together. Uh, so for that, we open up our tablet. We need to go to installations. And we want to put in a toilet. Now, the way I see that this is it's like an office for us. So there's no point in putting a shower and stuff like that in here. Um... Just really keep it to the, the bare essentials. Put that in backwards. Try that again. Uh, installations. And toilet. Yes. There we go. Put that right about there. Now we can get our toilet. And we're going to keep it very simple. We're just going to go with the compact. There we go. Right about there looks good. Now I have, I think, all of my perks pretty much maxed out. Uh, oh, there we go. So gardener's all done. Negotiation's all done. Building. Need to work on that a little bit more, but... Uh, you don't get too much of this in the uh, mails and tutorial stuff, so we're going to do a lot of this when we flip the house. Uh, same with demolition, uh, handyman. That's just going to come again when we're when we're doing houses. Painting, I've got a lot of that, and cleaning, I've got a lot of that. Uh, next, we need to put a sink here. So we're going to sink. Yes. Put that right in there. And now we need to get a nice sink that's going to fit our bathroom. Um, kind of thinking this would be best. Um, color wise, I think we might actually go with gray. A little bit closer. Yeah, a little closer to the wall. So now we can assemble this. All right. Perfect. Now, what we're going to need is a mirror. 
So we're going to do that. We're going to get old fashioned by that. Oh, it does fit. Nice. And that'll be... Well, it even has a light. That's beautiful. Little cupboards for storage or whatever. Um, is that... Yeah, it's pretty much centered. It's, it is with the sink anyways. Um, now for the flooring... Um... Floor tiles. Can do. Where is it? Right there. Let's see how this one looks. No, it's a little bit too dark. Could be nice. Yeah, it'll work. I've got a big plan for this house. Um, actually, the blue and the gray go really nicely together. Um, hmm. We're going to need a light. Uh, ceiling light. And this one. Dark is good. That looks like it's about centered, I think. Uh, let's put a light switch in and find out. Uh, the elegant, will it fit? Oh, it does, just. Yeah, you don't want it too bright in a bathroom, so I think that'll work. And. I haven't decided what the rest of the house is going to look like, so I think we're just going to leave the walls for now, and then uh, we'll get back into that. So give me a few minutes, I'm going to test out some colors, and we'll be right back. So been a little busy, um, here's what we got. We went with the, what color was it, I can't remember, Laughing Strawberry for the walls. And then we use the cream one for the windows, so they kind of pop a little bit more. And we did that on all of them. And then this one here, I just used some of the red tiles. Because um, I have an idea for what we're going to do back here. Um, in the bathroom, we wound up going with this kind of paper uh, wallpaper system. Uh, I think it actually kind of matches the bathroom pretty well. We're not done in the bathroom, like we're going to put a towel rack over here. Uh, toilet paper holder and we'll do all the final touches on that. I uh, just wanted to kind of get a start for this and Yeah, so now I'm gonna get to finishing the rest of this room and then we'll get right back All right time for another progress update so We've added in a little Christmassy area here um, I'm gonna turn that off because it is a little distracting fireplace here. Now we did actually put the wall uh, too thick here, but then I decided I wanted the fireplace in, so I did knock out uh, the first row here. Um, put a few vases on top and put a picture there to really accent it. Put this thing here because it really matches with the floor, uh, which is another thing that we've done. We did this uh, dark wood floor. A uh, little corner desk here. Uh, everything lights up. This lights up, but only from the back. Unfortunately, I don't know why it's not turning on, but it isn't. Uh, threw some blinds in, uh, open ones for in here, and closed ones for in here. And... Oh, we did the lights too. Uh, two ceiling fans here and here. And just move these over here just to kind of illuminate the area a little bit better. And that's about where we are. So I'm going to do a few more knickknacks in here, and then we will do the outside. Catch you in a bit. So quick progress time. Um, this is what I've done. A little bit of a walkway. 
and then you can go off to the side you've got a little koi pond here i'm going to put some gravel or something around here i haven't exactly figured out what yet put in a little kiddie pool you can kind of whatever um put in a big regular size pool here with some sun loungers and some tables uh, with an umbrella uh, and I put sand down here just so you can kind of feel like you're actually at the beach. I know this isn't something you typically would see at a house, uh, let alone a business, but we're running a different kind of business, I, in my mind. And with this business, I want it to be something for the whole family, right? So I'm thinking over here, we've got this little play area here, and then over here we're going to have some uh, kid stuff, some swing sets, and whatever else. And then we're probably going to call this a day. I don't think there's much we're going to put back here. We might put some trees or something back here. But uh, all in all, uh, this is a business. Uh, I don't know if I'm leaving this here yet or not. Um, I just thought it looked cool, but when I'm actually looking at it, it's like... I don't know how it fits. Uh, the other thing I did was I put uh, brown brick all over the house. And I really, really like it. Um, I think it fits really nicely. So that's where we are right now. Um, I'm going to put in some gravel here. And I'll figure out some stuff on this side. And then we'll get right back. Alright. We are going to start looking at our final time. First off, I put a little feature area here, and right now we've just got a big sleigh, obviously because it's Christmas. Uh, I put the gravel in around the pond, I think it looks pretty cool. I threw up a lot of these lights everywhere. Um, I think they really do the trick. I put in a little barbecue with a little grilling area here. I put four of these, two here, two down there. Um, with a little fire in between. I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, lined the whole backyard with trees all the way around. Put in a couple fountains. And then I put in the little kids area over here. Uh, little baby swings. Little rocker guys. Kids house. Sandbox. Little uh, swing set. Um, and that's what we got. I am very, very happy with this. We're going to keep this at least for this episode, um, <laughs> at least in, for this episode. Next episode we might upgrade and get something a little bit bigger, but for right now we are... Ooh, that is going to bug me. Uh, for right now we're good. So I'm just going to quickly fix this here. Uh, brick. And we use this one here. Right. And that works just for a doorway. Um, yeah. Oops. Quickly sell this. So, just to quickly go over what we did, um, Made a beautiful little interior here. Uh, red, obviously, was the color we're going with for this. Uh, got a nice little setup here for our desk and everything. Uh, again, everything turns on and off. Uh, got a little Christmas tree here with a fireplace and a, a painting. And then here was the bathroom we did. Very plain. But I forgot. I forgot. Bad me. Um, yep, this is what we're going to go with. Put it like this. Actually, yeah, like this. And maybe we'll put a plant or something, but that's not what I'm going to worry about right now. So, hopefully this does a trick. And that's about all I got for right now. So if I have anything else, uh, we'll come back in just a second. So that took quite a bit longer than I was planning on. Uh, so instead of doing an actual flip this episode, we're just going to do a mail. Um, we'll just start with this one here, Bunker. 
Hello, we bought a house with a hidden post-war bunker. The previous owner didn't appreciate what he had and made it a storage room. We care about safety and the weather in this part of this country gives us some concern. We have renovated the house, but as far as the bunker, we want it to be done by a professional. Can we count on you equipping it appropriately? If a tornado or something even worse would hit, we want to have a safe place where we could stay for several weeks until it's safe again. We got you, fam. We will uh, help you out. Looks like a big mess. <laughs> uh, which is good because it'll help level up my cleaning skill. Um, one of the big perks I have is with trash, you can actually pick up multiples. So it's not just one thing you're picking up. You are picking up like four or five things. Uh, let's see if we can find it in here. There it is. So, this is what we're working with. Um, looks like we're going to have to gut the whole room, clean the room. No, I don't want up on the ladder. And then we go in the door. Uh, looks very similar in here as well. Lights on and off. Uh, very small room in here. And here is going to become their little bathroom. They have a little generator in here, which is awesome. So, I'm going to get to work on uh, this room here. And we'll catch you in a minute. Filthy, filthy, filthy. Uh, that's done. So, gray squares. I probably should buy a second one. Alright. Thankfully we just leveled up the skill not too long ago. So this isn't taking as long as it would have in the past. Still going to take a while, but not that bad. Especially when we can get some more skill points going on soon, hopefully. Ooh, definitely gonna need at least one more, if not two. All right. Whenever I'm doing a reno, I do try to do the walls first. Um, just because when you do get some of the bigger things in there, it does make it a little bit harder to place things behind them sometimes. Like you have to kind of jump funny or really stretch or sometimes you even have to move the item altogether. Um, yeah. Uh, let's just buy two more. Not exactly the color that I would have chosen uh, for the walls, but it is a bunker, so not a bad choice. I, mean, I wouldn't have used like, the colors we used in our base or anything like that, but... There we go. And it looks like a good thing we bought a whole nother package. So we're going to run out a little bit short. Perfect. Okay. Walls are done. So we can sell that. Uh, so now we need a toilet. Um, go with this one here. No, just keep the white. There we go. And here's a sink. So we're going to keep this one very, very old school. 
cheap, whatever you want to call it. If it works, it works. That's all I care about. got to get a shower in this corner so you just use the corner shower eh, that looks better uh, that looks good all right try that again was gray and black. Nah, keep a light blue. All right. Cool. Now we need a water heater. Um, that in there and dark wood gray wood there we go on the wall and a bunch of toilet paper these guys are preppers so I know they only need four but we're gonna give them a bunch okay <clears throat> all right first room is done Got a little shower in here water heater um, Toilet, sink, toilet paper, cabinet, uh, generator, I guess, has to stay here. Wasn't allowed to move it or anything. So, very boring room. Uh, let's get uh, going on the second here. Clean dirt, where are you? Nothing on the wall. Oh, right there. White. Alright. Sweet. Uh, faster painting is good. so quick. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. gray wood, I think. And, oh, I need two of those. Alright. 
No. No, 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 no. There. Oops. I guess as far as you can go. Um, let's do some fun colors here. And yours. Like that. And like that. <clears throat> Alright. Second room is done. Very, very plain, uh, white walls, orange shelves, and two of these beds. Um, so really didn't take too long in here. I think we'll do the next one together, uh, just so you guys can see kind of what goes into a room. So you just clean up all the stuff on the ground. Oh, we don't want to sell the tools. All right. Pick that up. Can we sell this? No, of course not. So then we clean it up a little bit. Uh, where do we got dirt here? Oh, right there. Uh, clean dirt, right in the corner, and we're good. So now we're going to paint, oops, uh, with white. There we go. I'm gonna put it right there so that way I can, actually I can probably reach in behind. Yeah, I can just do this. This game is highly addictive, though. I've put uh, quite a few hours into the game. Um, there's not really a big knowledge curve or anything like that. Uh, like it pretty much walks your hand through whatever you need to do. Um, but it is fun letting your, your creative side out and seeing what you can do and um, what works together, what doesn't work together. Obviously, if you're a professional interior decorator, you know what works and what doesn't work. Um, but for your average person, you know, they probably won't know that. Um, line this up too. So yeah, that's why I like this game. It's uh, you know, lets me try different things and yeah. So there's that. So put this right there. So now we need to buy a first aid kit. Um, I'm gonna leave that right out in front because that's kind of the first thing you always want to see. Some water containers, which don't fit on the shelves, so let's just fit them in here. Two, three, four, five. And food container. I wonder if we can get two on a row. No, you can't go back that far. Oh yeah, we could. And they're prepper, so let's give them a little bit extra. Pickled cucumbers. There we go. I'm gonna stock these guys up as good as I can. Jar of soap. That's a jar of dirt. I was thinking of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. I got a jar of dirt. <laughs> Some macaroni. Uh, there we go. And now these guys need some rice. Move this over. 
Now we need some good old fashioned PB. Not the safest thing, but it fits. Some tomatoes. You'll never catch me buying that. Uh... No, that just looks like it doesn't obey the law of physics. See? Alright. Uh, canned meat. Canned meat. Sounds nutritious. That looks like better. Okay. And then we need some cans of tuna. There we go. And a safe. Where are we going to put the safe? Um... That right here. Can this go on top? No. Maybe put that. Put that there. Put that there. Perfect. And that's what's involved in a room. And the last room. <laughs> Looks like it's going to require a lot of cleaning. Um, not sure if I'm going to keep this in the video or not. I'm going to see how long uh, the video is when I'm doing the editing. And then I'll decide if I'm going to include this or if I'm just going to put it as an afterthought. So, room is complete. Uh, got a sofa, got a couple shelves. I did a weird design. Actually not 100% happy with it, so I'm just going to put this here. Uh, put it in a table with some chairs, use the same wench color uh, all throughout. They didn't actually have a spot for the microwave, so I just put it here. Uh, some big uh, hanging shelves there, and a gas stove. And that's all done. So, this is what we've done today. I always love looking at these little snapshots, because... You can forget how bad it was in here and exactly what you've done, so it really, really makes it pop. Poor bedroom, not much in there. Alright. So, uh, that's going to be the end of today's episode. Uh, if you did like the video, please hit that like button and consider giving us a subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.